Hey YouTube, this is the follow-up to my mini disc repair video and um, in this video I'm going to give a more detailed description of the procedure and how to modify the equipment so you can undelete the audio from a lost mini disc. Um, just a quick mention, if you do decide to follow this guide then you do so entirely at your own risk. I'm not responsible if you damage or break your equipment. Okay, so anyway, on to what you need. First up, you need one of these units. It's a Sharp MD MT15 mini disc player. Now, I use this because it's the one that you can modify the easiest out of all the brands that are on there. So, what you need to do is you need to put some tape over the door entry detection mechanism and you need to remove the tray so that the disc can slide out when the actual door is open. It's a bit difficult to see on this, so I've got another unit that I actually can show you a little bit easier of what, you're, what you need to do. So, if that will focus, okay. The door release mechanism is this little switch here. That's what needs to be held down with some tape. Masking tape's fine, but you can use packing tape or, or whatever. Just has to make sure that it's shut, that's all and it never comes open. The next thing you have to do is to obviously take the tray off the actual casing so that this tray can move so that you can get the disc out even though the player thinks the disc is still in place. So those are the two things you need to do. The third thing is however big your disc that you want recovered you need to have another disc of the same size. In this case I'm using a 74 minute disc. Now you need to take a good disc which has all the audio recorded onto it. So you basically take um, any mini disc and record the entire thing with anything. It can be silence, um, it can be some other music, it can be talk, it doesn't matter. You just have to fill up a new spare disc with a complete recording that is valid and that will play in any player. And this is going to be your donor disc that you're going to use to clone the contents from. Um, here is my bad disc. I'm just using this as an example. This is also a 74 minute disc. Um, I've written bad on there just so that you can see what I'm doing because I'm going to recover the audio on this disc. Now I've put this as bad because when you put it into the player and try to play it. It won't play anything. It's coming up as blank disc. I hope you can see that. So what you do, take the batteries out or just remove the trapdoor on the back. Take the disc that you want to recover out first. Put in the disc that you've recorded 74 minutes of music onto, put it in, wait for it to come up, so this is a valid disc, stop it, you go to edit, you then add any disc name, I'm just going to put an A in this case, you go back to edit and it says complete and then up here it says TOC. Now there's a TOC that's waiting to be written to the disc. So all we've got to do is take this disc out without the player knowing that it's been removed and then put in this. So as we made the modifications to the unit we can open the drawer and then we take the disc out Now it still thinks the disc is in there because the TOC is still waiting to be written to the disc. We take our bad disc that was blank, that we have audio on. We then insert it, close it, and then we just switch, we just switch it off. So it's now going TOC edit. So it's writing the contents of my good disc back to the disc I want to recover from. So now it's saying goodbye and switching off. So that's done. We want to check it. We can press play. And 
I'll just put the speakers up to the, the mic. Hope you can hear that. And there you go, that will play for 74 minutes or however long you had recorded on that disc. Okay, and that's all there is to it actually. Um, if you've got any questions, you can always just message me. Otherwise, thanks for watching um, and check the first video out um, if you want to see um, the quick version of this. Thanks again.